All right, welcome everyone to the second episode of the Rockland Clinic Job, our Cyberpunk Red uh, actual play stream in support of Qualmar Con 2023. Uh, is brought to you by Rogue Square Games and the Qualmar Realm. Uh, with or my name is John. I'm going to be your game master tonight. My pronouns are he him. Uh, with us tonight, we've got three of our players. Sam unfortunately cannot make it tonight for personal reasons, uh, but will be rejoining us next week. Uh, let's go counterclockwise around the circle. Uh, Ty, who are you? Where might people know you from? And who are you playing tonight? All right, thank you so much. Uh, continuing counterclockwise, Jesse. Oh, hello. So, uh, my name is Jesse. My pronouns are they, them. And I will be playing Servi, uh, who is a lawman for the people. Uh, that is her corporation, the people of her community. Um, and people will know me from mostly online, people don't. Uh, so, <laughs> do you know me in real life? Cool. Uh, otherwise, hi, hello, I'm Jesse. All right. Uh, and that leaves us with Shay. Hello, I am Shay. If you know me, you know me from this stream right here. We're on Fridays. We play Pathfinder, which is starting up again this Friday. So come back in four days and we'll switch settings entirely. And you'll get to see some new characters from some of us. Uh, you might also know me from my extremely casual cosplay, which you can find at that link there. Um, and tonight I am playing JK, who's a she, her, and she is a tech um, who grew up in the wild world, wide world of nomads and is now stuck in the city, making her way as best she can. All right. Now, uh, when last we met, you had been hired by, well, you'd been hired through a fixer uh, by the name of 2-Bit Tommy, uh, who is a rising presence in the edge running uh, community of, of Rancho Coronado. Uh, he's uh, always played straight by all of you. You know, he's you know paid you on time for the jobs, that sort of thing. And he approached you with a job that he said was going to bring you to the big time. Uh it did involve dealing with corporation, but it was on the up and up, and the money was right. Uh, the client was a woman by the name of Soraya Panakar, uh, who, until that very afternoon, had been working for a company called Rockland Augmetics. Uh, they had specialized in various forms of cybernetic implants and prosthetic devices, uh, and she had specifically been working on a project to uh, reduce the rejection rate for the, these devices in uh, youth and adolescent patients. Um, the trial had shown a significant amount of promise, uh, but she had pushed just a little bit too hard for public access to this uh, to this procedure. Um, the corporation had wanted to get the most money they possibly could from their, their patented technology, uh, and we're going to reserve its application to the 0.01%, basically. Uh, she didn't care for this. She was a little too loud about not caring for this, uh, and she got fired. She came to 2-Bit Tommy, who came to you, and said, can you get me back my data? Uh, very simply, that's all the job was. Steal back uh, the um, the trial data so that Rockland doesn't recover it, wipe it, and basically make sure that nobody ever sees it again. 
Uh, the money was good enough, and uh, y'all agreed. You arrived at uh, the St. Mako Clinic in Rancho Coronado, where the trial was being taken, where the trial was taking place. Dealt with the security down in the lobby, uh, and you found your way up to the up to the server farm on the third floor. Um, Note is going to be not running for this entire session. Um, basically, I'm going to decide at what plot point uh, Note makes progress in terms of um, actually uh, penetrating this, ar- this network architecture. You're all going to be occupying meat space. So if you need Note to come up to the server farm, you're going to need to communicate that um, and that sort of thing. But you have all just, you have all now arrived upstairs on the third floor of the the clinic in their server farm, which is not connected to the rest of their network architecture. And you find four large server enclosures, each with a a printed label on the door. Uh, one says Militech, one says Arasaka, one says Biotechnica, and one says Rockland. You're pretty sure that's the network that you need. Now, the only, uh, uh, excuse me, the only um, security that you have seen on this level was a single uh, camera which was facing the elevator bank as you came up. Uh, That has been disabled, uh, but you have not encountered any other security on this floor. Uh, The floor below you there was a, a turret covering the elevator lobby and all that sort of thing. Uh, you elected to just bypass that entirely. What are your... Th- what? The windows. Exactly. Uh, just a yeah, quick review of what, what other security features are going on in the building. Um, there were cameras in the lobby and in the, the patient area on the second floor. Uh, There are windows to the outside and access to the outside on both of those floors. Uh, There is, there are no windows and there is no access to the outside up on this third floor. Um, You have, you've believed that that's because it's effectively a security measure. It it makes it so that it is much harder for anybody who might be trying to break into the facility to, um, to get access from the outside. Now, with that in mind, what are your thoughts as you're coming up into this space? And you're not meeting any resistance. Well, aside from note setting yourself on fire, this has been a little easy. There should be some sort of clinic security team, especially if they know they're coming to destroy the data. I'm starting, to, I'm starting to get suspicious of what, her name's Soraya, right? Yep. Yeah, I'm, you know, she was employed by the corporation, so she tells us up until today, and it sounds like a good cause, but given how dangerous this all is supposed to be, we haven't met a whole lot of danger, and that is it's raising my hackles a little bit. Yeah, the uh, the security so far has almost entirely been electronic, and that's been reasonably formidable, but yeah, what are they going to do against a meat space infiltration? Uh, Ty, what is, what's Shadow thinking at this moment?
So are you calling her as... So are you calling her as a getaway driver, or are you calling her as the the cavalry to be an extra gun in this situation? We're facing some really nasty stuff because this just seems way too easy for the principle of aspect of being a. Uh, 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 be, uh, being a snatch and grab, that we should have faced some degree of resistance by this this point, even if they aren't lined up prepared for an actual infiltration to take place, there should have been some form of security by this point in time period. So, I need to back up just a little bit. Um, because I, I do want to involve uh, Shadow's sister in this situation. But that that ability to call somebody for backup and actually have them appear and take part in a combat situation, that's the lawman's role. Uh, but oh, that's, it, like it's, a, uh, that's like a superpower? That, that is specifically the lawman's role ability. Oh, um, I didn't know that that was a specific ability. I thought that that was something that um, the, the, that that was specific of the lawman to end up calling in for re reinforcements because of him, him being part of an organization. Mm -hmm. But I thought that the aspect of being able to call, being able to call, uh, call in on a, an actual net run for actual uh, assistance was something that a net run uh, that. Uh, a runner could wind up asking of another, of an another runner. Of runner. Well, we'll we'll see how it plays out. She she may be able to get there in time. She may be she may be uh, detained. Right. I didn't. Uh, so. I know it's not a po uh, not a power. I just figured that it was something that uh, yeah. a runner could wind up asking another runner of, "Hey, I'm in this situation the situation," and wind up asking that. Well, Asking, asking it. I know that with the uh, lawman, that they can land up calling for backup, and backup show uh, backup is guaranteed to show up because of it being their superpower. Oh, well, that's cool. Yep. Okay, so with that, you're examining the the server farm. You found where uh, Note will need to jack in uh, in the Rockland. Uh, server bank. Um, what's your next step? You 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 sent your message out to uh, Shadow Sister, uh, and I informed the rest of the party that I did that. Okay, this is way too easy, and this doesn't feel uh, this uh, way too easy. By now, we should have encounter just a regular even if there is no extra security here because of them thinking that something might be up yeah, so we should have encountered the regular security people by now they'd at least have some sort of meat suit in this room yeah there would have been a regular regular security patrol would have landed up in a security checkpoint so we would have crossed paths but we haven't encountered any form of security yeah so quick question above board um mm -hmm. notice in the lobby i know we left it la last time thinking that maybe we'd have them get to the top floor where they could permanently disable the cameras and turrets and stuff um how are we working that and playing that in this case or should i try and like because again i don't know what net running entails but i think that's what what we were trying that's why we kept note plugged in yeah, so I'm going to hand wave that Note is going to succeed on whatever uh, net running uh, actions right. they are attempting. Uh, that is simply going to happen at a particular point, basically. Okay. It's oh. going to take a set amount of time. I'm not going to inflict any further, you know, damage on Note because of, uh, you know, enemies yeah. or anything like that, because... I'm not going to do that to a player who isn't here. Um, yeah, you should only set them on fire when they're playing. Is <laughs> really, 
Okay. Um, uh, then I'm not going to worry oh, about like you. physically disabling the camera. I guess what we got to decide is like... Holding on one moment because OBS has done the whole not responding thing. Uh, let me just verify that I'm still actually streaming. Okay. Cool. Cool, I cool. Think you are. Um, yeah, on my end, the stream is still live. Well, that's that's good. That's reassuring. Yep. Yep. Uh, let's switch to the performance encoding rather than quality. All right. Hopefully, hopefully, my computer will be less angry with me. All right. So while note is. Making her way to the top floor. Um, why don't we do a deep dive search around the room and maybe check to see what's going on with this computer over here. All right, so uh, with that in mind, uh, you're conducting your search. Um, let's see, let's make that. We're going to make this a perception check. You can make an argument for something else. Uh, perception or conceal reveal object. Both of which are going to be awareness skills, top left column. So, let's see. Um, once we do our perception check, I would also like to do a deduction check. Um, to see if I can make sense of whatever we find. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Um, can I do a perception check for the room and then possibly a cyber tech check when I look at that computer? Uh, cyber tech? Ooh, um, Basic tech? That would be an electronics check. Oh, I got one of those less but it's still there yep cyber tech is more intended for like cybernetic implants uh that got kind of it stuff. got it got it okay uh basic tech is if you can whack it with a hammer and actually have that be a functional means of fixing it uh then basic tech applies <laughs> probably have to use it at that but let's start with perception yeah, let's get the perception checks Jeez, I just don't roll well. Yeah. Now that note's gone, it's your turn. Oh, yeah. Fair. I think Your it was also my turn last time you. as well. <laughs> and so, do you want me to roll my uh, deduction check now? or? Yeah, go ahead. All right. I lost where it is. Is it... It's there it is. Ahead. And education skills. Ooh. All right. Not, Not terrible. So cursed after all. Not very perceptive, but what I find, <laughs> I can make sense of. But I imagine that, like, we're doing a group perception type of situation where it's like whatever we all individually find, we will share with each other. So. I, I mean, that is the rough idea. All. <laughs> all right, so, uh, JK, we're going to start with your perception check. What is it you are looking around here for? What What is it you're actively trying to find? Wait, is, is Shadow going to do a perception check? Uh, yeah. Yes, and we can we can work with Shadow's uh, check once once we get a roll there, but we're going right. to okay. continue um... with the, the role play. The yep. normal perception check, I'm looking for any signs of people having been in here recently. I'm looking for signs of like the Rockland Clinic server having been disturbed. Um, any like notes or anything or indications that they're actually shutting this clinic down. And then for the electronic security tech, I'm looking at the computers and poking around and see, see if I can find anything that 
would, you know, set off warning bells. And or be suspicious. Super sus. How sus? Super sus. Super sus. Super sus. And maybe, you know, see if there's people popping in and out of vents. As suspicious people do. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, in order, um, there is a... So each of the doors does have a paper log uh, in a like a little holder on the front of it. Um, and it is literally just check in, check out uh, for people who have physically accessed the server banks. Uh, and there is a note written at the top of the Rockland uh, uh, file basically saying uh, no access without uh, without uh, Rockland personnel per, uh, present. Um, and it doesn't look like anybody has accessed it in the last 12 hours. Uh, which would be consistent with the story that you've been told. Um, you don't see anybody ducking in or out of the vents, which is good. <laughs> uh, have I forgotten anything that you specified in that? Um, oh yeah, with the electronics, I wanted to look over at the computer, um, take a basic look around this over. Can I, can I ping things on this map? I don't know. You can't, but uh, I can see where your mouse is. Yeah, so over here and and take a look and see if I can't just <sighs> click a little bit away and see if there's anything suspicious. Use my basic cybersecurity tech. Okay. Um. This is just a, uh, it's basically just a security station. It is another at, uh, network access point for the um, the main building network architecture. Uh, and it, it has a simple password protection, um, but Note already gave you that password and it gives you access to the cameras throughout the entire building. Oh, wonderful. Oh, so then I can just shut them off from here. Yeah, or yeah. Like you, you set them to loop. That's a thing that like hackers do, right? That is a thing that would require a specific role to do. So we will come back to that. Okay. Um, Survey. You don't notice anything new, uh, and you don't notice any new information uh, from uh, what I told J.K. However, with your deduction, you do notice that. Um, There has only ever been one person aside from Soraya herself uh, that has been listed as entering the the Rockland uh, server farm. So you are reasonably certain that whoever uh, Josh Simons is, you're pretty sure that they are the Rockland plant. Um. Uh, what do you mean by Rockland plant? Sorry. Uh, so last time it was explained that um, oh, look, Rockland a Rockland has a standard procedure of putting someone who is on their payroll on the staff of any clinic that they're doing a trial at. Mm -hmm. um, just to have final security. And that's part of the reason why Soraya couldn't approach the clinic staff directly because she knew that there was a mole. She didn't know who the mole was. Gotcha. Now you do okay. know who the bull is. Um, Shadow, that was a persuasion roll. Did you mean to roll perception? Uh, if so, I can just look up what the modifier was. Uh, so that's an 11. Alright, so that's actually a 15. Not bad. Not too shabby. Not too bad at all. All right, so yeah, I, Shadow, with your I'm I'm paying attention, looking for any actual threats, um, any um, form of security or lined up signs that there's um, somebody lining up using a uh, shroud net to lined up hiding their presence in the room, so, so, room because 
this has got me lined up triggered that there's something uh, the the security just doesn't wind up seem right for uh, for this situation. So you don't see anything particularly out of the ordinary to start with. You're do you're you're making your rounds. You're looking around. I'm looking for the secondary. Uh, security camera mm -hmm. like some, somebody had set up a, a secondary secure security can a camera uh, camera uh, so, uh, so uh, this whole situation just doesn't land up uh, uh, there's just something that doesn't land up adding up with this the uh, major trial like this there would be some higher level of security than this. Well, like... you hear, as you're passing by the, the door for the stairwell, which, who uses stairwells in 2045? I mean, come on. Uh, oh, but you oh, hear... I'm a solo, so I would land up be, I would land up, but automatically land up be looking for stuff that lands up standing out as being, um, odd or land up, uh, a possible situation that would be uh, a threat it's a threat location so for me it would uh, it lines up of course would stand out yeah so she or sorry you hear as you're passing by the stairwell which you don't expect to hear anything up the stairwell but you're listening anyways you hear somebody walking up the stairs to that third floor that you're on muttering under their breath about something about having to switch shifts. Sounds like you've got about 20 seconds before they arrive on the floor. Mm, do I have enough time to land up taking a, uh, a, a, a location that I'd be able to get the drop on who is going to land, who is land up coming? Uh, you have you have enough time that you can move pretty much anywhere on the floor. Uh, where I have placed your token now, up here in this top left or corner, that that two squares there, that is the door to the stairwell. Door to the elevator is in the opposite floor. Yeah, I would land up go going in the corner. So when the door, so the the I would land up going. Uh, to a location that I would land up having, uh, that I would land up having line of, uh, line of the sight. So when they land up coming out the door, I could land up being able to end up, uh, getting the drop on them right away. Okay. And, and uh, I listen to see if there's any signs of a second voice or if it's just a single end of individual. You're only hearing the one person for right now. Uh, are you telling Servi or JK that someone's coming? Yeah. Hopefully. All right. Uh, Servi and JK, you've got one one turn to move, basically. Uh, how... How tall is this wall in between the the server farm and the security station? Uh, the server farm is, or the the glass enclosure around the server farm is roughly nine feet tall. Um, oh, but these, it's glass, so it's see through. Yeah, yeah, it's like polycarbonate glass oh, or whatever. Oh, this door here. Yeah, so the 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 line where Shadow and Servi are. Uh, vertically, and then the line along the edge of the hallway to the south. Those are basically two sides of a glass enclosure. There's also a roof to this enclosure that is lower than the ceiling of the room that you're in by about two feet. Okay. Got it. Um, well, if uh, you know, Shadow tells me, or tells us that there's somebody coming, I'm going to duck behind, like, in between the Rockland and the Militech server farms. 
And I'm okay. going to things. try to hide in this corner here. And All right. just quickly suggest that he might be useful alive. All right. Uh, those of you who are hiding, roll me stealth checks real quick. Stealth is a body skill. It is in the left-hand column and the bottom of the second section. Hey, there we go. Not terrible. Yeah. All right, all right. Look at us go. Hiding so hey. good. Sneak, 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 sneak. All right, so the door... Oh, I'm also open. going to throw out my shotgun, just in case. <laughs> the door clangs open, and a guard in a pretty lazily put together, but thoroughly, you know, professional uniform. Like, the uniform itself is a professional security uniform. It's got, uh, uh, you know, polycarbonate or... Um, some kind of uh, polymer padding on the shoulders and elbows and all that kind of stuff. Uh, he's wearing a full helmet, but he's he looks like he's you know he's got his top collar button undone. Uh, he looks like he's kind of approaching his rounds lazily. Kind of um, like uh, it's like he he's going to protect himself, but he's not paid enough to make it look nice. Yeah, well, think of it as. He is just put together enough to get himself all the way put together if and when a corporate inspection arrives, but until then, he's not going to put put forward a whole 100% effort. Any more energy. Exactly. Like, purely necessary. This is the graveyard shift. I am the only person on duty. There is absolutely no way that I'm going to you know make a show of my appearance. Um, and he opens the door just does a fairly you know slow look through the room like not even not even stepping into the room at first just kind of looking around the room and then he notices what's on the security center screen and he notices that it's logged in <laughs> Whoops. He takes another step in. Uh, does he have perception? Yes, he does. <laughs> How'd he do? Oh! Oh, he did Awful. very badly indeed. Not he did great. very badly indeed. Uh, he trips over his, his uh, he left a boot lace open, he trips over that uh, curses under his breath goes to uh, goes over to the security station and logs out is anybody doing anything right now? I, from where I am, according to all the lights and shadows on the map, I can't see him if there is a token. Literally same. I've Correct. been tuning into the stream so I can see what's fully going on on the... So, <laughs> I don't even okay. know that he noticed that it was logged in. Um, pretty sure Shadow you, is the only one who can actually see him. You would have heard, uh, like, he said something under his breath about... Um, Oh, left myself locked in. And okay. you would have heard him walk up and start typing on the keyboard. Anybody else reacting? And I message, uh, sent a text message to everybody that we had somebody kind of incoming from the stairwell. From the stairwell. From the stairwell. Um, I'm going to move forward and I'm going to land up uh, moving fo forward to land up uh, taking him out since he's probably going to land up uh, 
wanting to do more security with Linda noticing it logged in, so I'm going to end up doing my best to subdue him. Oh, and... plus, as soon as he turns around, he'll probably see you. So I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to make a move to end up subduing him with a focus of uh, a, a focus of end up uh, okay. uh, of uh, end up uh, taking him out before he gets a chance to end up doing his communicate uh, hit his communicator to yep. end up letting someone know that there's trouble. But I'm not trying to kill him. I'm just trying to end up uh, knocking him out cold. Uh, knocking him out cold. All right, so he is not currently aware of you. I'm going to need you to roll a stealth check against his perception. Uh, and then uh, I'm going to need you to roll your melee attack. Which I believe you do have a, he a heavy we melee weapon. You've told me that it was a katana, but you know we can use the, the hilt or something. We can use the blunt end of it for that. Um, but first I need you to roll stealth. The hilt is an important part of the weapon. You defeat his stealth. Uh, you you are able to get up behind him without uh, without alerting him. Now roll your attack. If you succeed on this attack, you don't need to worry about damage. He's out cold. Go shadow. Ooh. Martial arts skill. That's awesome. All right. Uh, a good bonus. So. Yeah. I figured that it would be more martial arts to land up doing a sub a sub doing an Amelie. Amelie would be uh, land up, uh, you know, landing up attacking him with a weapon, but martial arts would be land up uh, uh would be land up for uh, uh sub subduing precision um, brawl type maneuver yeah no absolutely would be a more appropriate maneuver would be so uh, yep. would be lined up uh, the sub duo would be to use a martial arts movement lined up using the brute force of hitting him with the back of my katana so, blade so here's the kicker <gasps> oh no he no. evaded there was some flicker of movement just out just within his peripheral vision something reflection in the computer screen maybe it, maybe it wasn't even that maybe he just bent down to the computer screen at the exact right moment <laughs> oh uh, <laughs> but we missed and so now we're in proper full initiative uh oh, let, now he's aware red. let me go ahead and get that started for everybody Initiative is. Oh no, you rolled it for us! Yay! All right, uh, and it is his turn first. That. Oh, that. That is awful for initiative. I'm sorry. All right, so the guard is going to. Uh, draw his. He's going to try and draw his pistol. Yep. He's going to try and draw his pistol, and he's going to try and draw a bead on Shadow, because Shadow's the only person he's aware of at the moment.